What are you doing? Oh, I'm just gonna build an action hat. You know, with these tools and stuff. No, you don't need any of that. I don't, you don't need, you don't need all this? You need this, a Sharpie, and this, some kind of blade. That's all you need, bud. Don't overthink this. Well, all right then. I guess, I'll see you later. I'll just, I'll just do it myself, don't worry. That's right, people. We are gonna assemble our DIY action hat tonight. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this because I've well, put it off this long. I waited all year, basically, when I could have been using it. Um, but you know what, I didn't have a third camera, but I think what I'm gonna do for 2019 is get a third camera and have a dedicated action hat set up. Um, so that way I can get some cool footage from you know that point of view uh, and really get the you know kind of first person view of it uh, in a way that I trust because it floats so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that tonight I'm um, really excited about this thanks Rex for making an awesome product and thanks for making the DIY kit it's like pretty ingenious because you know guys have brands that they like to rep and you know they're comfortable with a hat a certain brand certain size certain fit and adding the DIY kit to that is is perfect and that's my case the hat we're gonna be doing tonight is a Z bait co hat and it's a Richardson Richardson's uh, snapback slash trucker hats, you know, I really like the fit of so I'm really excited to put this uh, action hat kit on it and uh, Let's get started. What we're gonna need for this is a knife a sharpie and The do-it-yourself action hat kit available on actionhat.com um, I'll, I'll put everything in the description below, but those are the th only three things we're gonna need a lot of people think this is complicated it's not. It's really easy. And he gives you a pretty good directions right here. So hopefully I don't mess this up. I don't think I will. This is pretty much idiot proof. So yeah, let's let's go over to the workbench and get going. So what we have here is our setup for tonight. We have our hat, our Z bait co hat. You can see it's got some wear and tear, so I'm giving this hat some new life. We got our action hat flex frame DIY kit right here. We got our GoPro so we can test it as soon as we're done. We got our knife. We got our Sharpie, because that's all you need. All you need to make your DIY kit and, and put it on your hat is that's it, right there. All right, so here we go. All right, first thing I wanna do is go over the contents of the actual kit. Um, as you can see, there's nice detailed directions right here, but first thing I'm gonna pull out is the actual uh, action hat piece to this. Um, so it's got these flexible little frames here. It's really soft foam, so I feel like it's gonna be pretty comfortable. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So let's see what else is in here. Oh, got a thumper mullet. Real funny, real funny, Heath. Love it, thanks. Last but not least, the part that actually holds your camera to the action hat, the actual mount and the hardware that goes with it. So it includes the actual action hat piece, the mount to mount your GoPro to, and the two screws that you need to do that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line our action hat piece up into our hat and mark it with the Sharpie. As you can see, I'm using a Richardson, which is one of my favorite brands of hats. Um, and it's becoming really popular in the fishing world. So I'm gonna get this as, as low as I can to that brim. As you can see, you can't really tell that it's in there um, right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna get it as close as we can. We're gonna mark it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Sharpie here. I got red because it's the only one I have. Any color Sharpie will do. I'm gonna mark where I want my cuts to go. All right, our two lines are drawn. We're good to go to make our cut. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. There's our two lines, here we go. All I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna stab through this. 
No, oh, well, that's a cut, all right. <laughs> Told you I was gonna mess it up. All right, so we got our, our cuts into the front of our hat. We're gonna slide this guy back in. As you can see, he's back in. Our lines are matched up again. We're gonna take this GoPro mount out. And take this stuff out of the packaging. This entire piece is gonna go on the outside of the hat, like so. So it's gonna mount right here on the outside of the hat, just like that. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten that down with a Phillips head. The other screw is in place. We're gonna tighten it down. And there you have it. The DIY action hat kit. You can see it's all in there, nice and good, nice and comfy. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna put the GoPro on it now. Now, as you can see, our GoPro is mounted directly to the hat. And it's not going anywhere. Not moving, not doing a thing. There we go, boom, action hat. Um, yeah, that, that's as simple as it was. That whole thing took me probably four and a half minutes. Um, so if you have a knife, you have a Sharpie, and you have a Phillips head screwdriver, pick yourself up an action hat kit and uh, you'll thank me later. So as you can see right now, I have it mounted to my hat, action hat, DIY kit complete. And it's actually not, it's not heavy. It's not going anywhere. You can see now it's definitely not going anywhere. And with the touch of a button, you're off and recording everything that you need. Um, really awesome product. Thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching it. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Cool.